to my channel. The sun is going down right now and it is really glowing on me. It looks like God is about to take me away. So today's tutorial I am absolutely in love with. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this crate end table. It can also be an entryway table and I'm using it as a minimalist vanity. Remember everything I do on this channel is customizable. If you do not want the legs to be as tall as they are, you can make them shorter. If you want this to be a different color, you can make it a different color. This is just some inspiration and you can run with it and do whatever you like. What's awesome about this is it requires no tools. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we could get this video to 5,000 likes. If we could get it to 5,000 likes, I'll make some more crate DIYs for you guys. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not, so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video and I'm about to get raptured. Oh, okay, bye. So for this DIY, you're obviously gonna need a wooden crate. The best place to get them is Joanne Fabrics because you can use a coupon, whereas Michael's, you can't use a coupon. Walmart, you're gonna pay full price. Home Depot, you'll pay full price. Joanne Fabrics is the place to go. If you wait till Joanne Fabrics has their 60% off coupons, you can get an unfinished wood crate for around $5, or you can get the white wood crate for around $6. I got the white wood crate, that way I didn't have to paint it, and I end up actually saving Saving money that way. For the crates, I know that I want a gold stripe and a pink stripe on each side of the crate. There's four little slabs of wood on the back of the crates and they're popping out on the sides. You can obviously see them. So I take a ruler and I make a line going right under the second from the bottom slab of wood that you see, if that makes sense. And then I take some painter's tape and I apply the tape over that line. It's best to make the line first and then apply the painter's tape because lots of times you think you're getting a straight line with that tape and then you end up getting more of a slant. So it's best to just measure it out. Now I'm going to be painting the first stripe gold. There's two ways you can do this. You can just use an acrylic paint or a multi-purpose paint that you get at the craft store. You can get a really inexpensive one or you can spray paint it. So I'm showing you the difference. First, I'm gonna use just the regular paint and obviously you can see you're gonna have to do layers. Even if it's a multi-purpose paint, you're gonna have to do layers to get it opaque. Or you can spray paint the stripe on. You wanna make sure you put painter's tape so that you don't end up getting gold spray paint all over the crate. Because I'm only going to be spray painting the bottom, I don't have to put painter's tape all over the side of the crate. I just make sure I'm aiming that spray paint bottle downward instead of just straight at it. Otherwise, little pieces of gold spray paint are just going to flick onto the areas I don't want it to be on. Now you're going to want to get some furniture legs. I suggest going to your local hardware store. They're much cheaper to buy in stores than they are online. I went to Menards and I got them for super cheap. At first I was going to end up putting three legs, but then I decided I wanted to do four legs. I wanted the legs of this to be taller so I can fit a chair or a stool under it. Now the legs that I got are table legs and they're not adjustable. You can get adjustable ones to make the end table smaller. You want to aim to buy legs that has a top like this if you don't want to be using any tools and you just want to use a heavy duty glue. The flat tops to these type of legs gives you a lot of space to put glue on top of to make sure that this adheres really nicely to your crates. Now I'm going to be spray painting my legs a pastel chalk color. Now you do want to spray paint your legs in layers. It's best to put a light layer and then slowly build the coverage. I just spray painted it twice and a lot more than I should have. So I did have some streaking, but that's because the day that I spray painted it, it was a windy day. I just couldn't get the spray paint to adhere properly because the wind kept blowing the spray paint everywhere. So I was just like, let me aim really close. And when you aim really, really close, that's when you do experience running. But you know what? I'm not that picky and honestly you can't really see it unless you were staring very closely at the legs. While the legs dried, I decided to paint my second stripe on the side of the crate and I'm just using a pastel pink paint. Again, you want to put some painter's tape so you get a nice straight line and make sure you put painter's tape over the top line of the gold stripe so you don't end up getting bleeding of the pink paint into that gold. The pink paint that I used initially didn't match the legs too well, so I had to mix together some pink and white paint to get a lighter color to match the legs a little bit better. Now time to attach the legs. What you're going to do is you're going to take your leg and use a pencil to outline the top of the leg. 
Then you're gonna take some wood glue. That's what I'm using. I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue, which works super well. And I'm applying the glue to anywhere that's inside of that outline. I try not to apply too much wood glue because it gets a little bit runny. And I also use a makeup sponge to kind of smear out the glue to make sure it is all in the inside of that outline that I did. Now it's best to apply the glue this way rather than directly to the top of the leg because if you do it that way you're going to end up with like nasty glue showing through the gaps of the crate. You need to wait 24 hours for the glue to completely dry. Don't get too happy and excited to flip that thing over. I did. I was like, oh, I think it's going to be okay. But the legs are so heavy that when I try to turn it over, the legs fell off and I had to re-glue them on. So honestly, just wait the 24 hours. You'll thank yourself later. A little Gorilla Glue goes a long way. Also, when you put your legs down, you might have some glue that seeps out of the sides of the legs. You can use a Q-tip to clean the glue up. Like I said, initially I was going to go with just it's three so legs, but I ended up not liking the way that it looked. And what I love and is so it's customizable. You legs don't have total. to do what I did. That was all that's I did for I this little comments stand. about a lot. Like I would have did this differently. I would have done that differently. You can do it differently. This is the way that I wanted to do it, and in the colors that I chose. You can make this look like more of a rustic type of look. You can make it look a little bit more retro you can make it all pink totally up to you if you're wondering about the stool I have for this I do have a DIY up on my channel and pretty much everything that you see is just like stuff that I got from Dollar Tree and I spray painted it or things from Michaels I truly hope you guys enjoyed this DIY as usual if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you give it a thumbs up and we get enough thumbs up I'll make sure to do another crate furniture tutorial for y'all Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.